What's up everybody, Andrew Mahone here with Tricky Jim at Full Grip Games. Today I'm going to be showing off a format that I made up. It's an 80 card deck that gets drafted between two different players. Players build 40 card decks and they play four prize games. Now cube drafting in the Pokemon TCG is a ton of fun. In fact, it's my favorite way to play Pokemon cards. But don't worry, if you've never drafted before, I'm going to be explaining everything that you need to know in order to draft between two players in this video. I also got a great video on how to build your own Pokemon cube if you're interested, and I'll link it in the description below. Now sit back and enjoy the show. A cube is a is a collection of cards that you draft from. Now, uh, similar to a pre-release, a pre-release you're going to open uh, packs and then you're going to build your decks out of the the packs that you uh, uh, that you open. In a cube draft, you're going to build your deck out of the cards that you draft from this pack of pack of cards that we have here. This is an 80 card deck that uh, I came up with this past weekend. We're going to be drafting our decks out of this and then battling them uh, against one another. So uh, this is going to be a Solomon style draft. So I'm gonna go ahead and explain that to you guys here real quick before we get started. The way a Solomon style draft works is that the cube will be shuffled up, right? And then there will be eight cards placed out randomly, but I'm, I'm just picking eight cards just for an example. There'll be eight cards off the top of the deck placed out on the table three four, six seven and eight and then player a will split the eight cards into two different piles right yep. so they'll be out here like this player a i'll be player a will split into two different piles so i'll say like okay this energy removal is really good uh there's two draw cards we'll put those in two different piles two electabuzz we'll put those in two different piles but then you know like the energy removal is really good so i probably have to wait the other pile you know, like pretty considerably. So say I would put two different piles like this. And then since I'm player A and I split the pack into two different piles, Will, player B, gets to pick which pack he wants to, to help build his deck. Yep. So then Will would say, okay, I really like the energy removal. I'll take this pack and then I would take this pack. Will is player B and will do what player A did the previous turn and he'll split two different packs, you know, out of eight cards. And then I'll pick which one that I want, right? So that's the way that this works. First, we're going to shuffle up the deck. We're going to do a Solomon style draft, which is a two player drafting experience. It goes by pretty quickly because there's only 80 cards. So you do 10 packs of eight cards and you split them uh, as you are going. And, uh, and then you build your decks. Now, this is my favorite way to play Pokemon cards. I don't, it is what, also my favorite way to play Pokemon cards for sure. It's like not close. Yeah, it's uh, we played some. We actually played like a Buzz Rock Mirror last night, which is pretty funny. You yeah. Know? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it makes you realize, uh, it makes you realize how much you know skill goes into uh, not just the drafting, but also the deck building choices that you make. Uh, when we were playing this game last night, uh, you know, playing the draft last night. There was a decision that I made on like turn one or two that you know yeah. that you know twenty turns down the line ended up costing me, uh, you know potentially costing me the game, which is which is crazy. You know, it's something that you know you, you could plan that far in advance in a format like this. So it's definitely uh, a lot of fun. There's a lot of skill based decisions. Uh, we are using Pokemon from the early Wizards of the Coast era. So hit points are low, attack damage is low. You're talking two to three hit KOs on these bad boys. Maybe four. Maybe four. <laughs> four hit prizes. Chancy, you know, maybe six. <laughs> uh, you know, there are four prize games. We build 40 card decks. We play four prize game, just like a pre-release. And uh, the games that we've played so far have been have been pretty uh, exciting. So yeah. I'm excited to show that to you guys. Now, before we uh, hop right into it, we are going to be uh, showing off some of the most notable cards that you might run into here. So these are a lot of the the best of the best. Think of it like a, an all star game. It's almost like think of it like an all star game from like the base through fossil formats, kind of. You know, you got all the best heavy hitters from like the base set, jungle set, fossil set, and then even some like you know even some some cameos from like the Neo era. And the Ditto Prism Star. And a random Ditto Prism Star. So, like, uh, it's mostly, like, uh, you know, kind of like a battle of, like, the early early game champions. Um, the cube very much focuses on hitting weaknesses and resistances and resource management. So, you'll look at the Scyther here. Scyther 
has a resistance to fighting by 30, which is crazy because now Pokemon have like 300 hit points and their resistances are only 30. Yeah. So proportionally, all right, I'm not a mathematician, but proportionally, if a 70 hit point Pokemon can resist 30 damage, that is like similar to a 320 hit point Pokemon resisting 150. Yep. <laughs> it's like, it's like I'm just saying, I'm not a mathematician, but that's like, this is the kind of, this is how important and how significant resistances are, okay, in the early sets of the Pokemon TCG. Scyther has a minus 30 resistance to fighting. That's the same resistances that our 300 HP Pokemon have, right? So, uh, so Scyther resisting fighting by 30. Hitmonchan maximum does 40 damage. For three. For three fighting. <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. So like, uh, so the resistances play a huge role in this format and that you can completely wall off certain Pokemon from attacking and you can buy yourself more turns with the resistances. And then similarly, the weaknesses also play a big role. Getting into the cards, Scyther is really important because Scyther resists fighting, right? And uh, has colorless attack costs. So Scyther is good in any deck. It also has free retreat. And like I said, one of the major things about this format is that everybody's hitting for weaknesses and resistances. So being able to pivot in and out of the active position is absolutely amazing for that Scyther. We also have Electabuzz in this uh, in this cube. Electabuzz is just one of the best attackers for these early Wizards of the Coast formats. He's got a one energy punch, Thundershock, flip coin of heads. Uh, the opponent's Pokemon is paralyzed, and Thunder Punch does 40 for two if you flip a heads. Now, since Electabuzz is one of the best attackers, it also makes Hitmonchan very strong because Hitmonchan is also one of the best attackers and it hits Electabuzz for weakness. So this is uh, very significant. Hitmonchan, you're going to see uh, a lot of, but you kind of are seeing already this little, uh, this little triangle that we kind of have here. Uh, Hitmonchan hits Electabuzz for weakness. Uh, Electabuzz is one of the best attackers and can really, you know, hit into Scyther. Scyther resists, uh, you know, Scyther resists Hitmonchan. So like that, in that kind of way, you know, you're starting to see that formulate. But then we have Mewtwo entering the ring and Mewtwo, is a very powerful psychic type Pokemon and can hit uh, Hitmonchan for weakness. So Mewtwo can keep Hitmonchan in check. Uh, Mewtwo also is uh, impervious to energy denial and things like that so with its energy absorption attack being able to bring energy back from the discard pile. Uh, Cyburn doing 40 damage for three is incredibly strong. It one hit KOs Hitmonchan, right? Who can very easily two hit KO Electabuzz. And uh, we're kind of seeing this dynamic here play out between these three main attackers. Now Mewtwo would just be the best attacker in the cube, except all colorless Pokemon resist Mewtwo, right? Yeah. So you've got Wigglytuff with a minus 30 resistance to Mewtwo. You've got Chansey with 120 hit points and a minus 30 resistance to Mewtwo. Erica's Dratini with a minus 30 resistance to Mewtwo and an ability that uh, also decreases damage from basic Pokemon. Lickitung with 90 HP and a minus 30 resistance to Mewtwo. So with all of these powerful colorless Pokemon, uh, they all resist Mewtwo by 30 damage, meaning that Mewtwo can only deal 10 damage to them. So you're going to have to have a strategy where if you want to compete with the colorless Pokemon, you also have to have fighting Pokemon, right? But then fighting Pokemon are resisted by a certain type. It gets very complicated, right? And you can see uh, the interactions between all these different Pokemon. They have these, uh, you know, very powerful weaknesses and resistances. And that is kind of the the main idea that is like the uh i guess more or less the thesis of the cube right is that we're going to be really kind of uh navigating this matchup uh between weaknesses and resistances and resource management now another thing that uh another way that i've designed the cube is that i've also included very minimal switching cards mm -hmm. there is only one switch and one warp point which is the same thing as an escape rope and there's one scoop up which is like similar to a scoop up net, except you have to discard the cards. Ah, a scoop up net does the same thing. Similar yeah. to a scoop, basically a scoop up net. So with only like three pivot cards in the, uh, only three pivot cards, it means that you're really gonna have to think about who you promote, how you retreat your energy and things like that. 
Uh, retreating happens all the time. You know, sometimes you have to sacrifice a Pokemon because... Uh, so th there's no, like, get out of jail free cards. No. Nope. If you're going to play your Switch, it's very significant. And then if you're going to use another Switch, you're going to have to item finder for it to bring it back from the discard pile. Now, we do have a few other Pokemon uh, in the in the cube. Ditto is very cool because Ditto can transform into whatever Pokemon. It is opposite. We also have Mr. Mime, who is also huge. There are some... Uh, kind of stall strategies included in this cube as well. Mr. Mime has a Pokemon power that reads, whenever 30 or more damage is done to it, you prevent that damage. So Mr. Mime's very significant because it can completely wall off Pokemon like Mewtwo. Mewtwo just can't damage this thing. Scyther can't damage this thing. Mr. Mime has to be two-hit KO'd. Similarly, there's Erika's Dratini, which I already mentioned. Whenever a basic Pokemon attacks Erika's Dratini, for more than 20 damage, it gets reduced to 10. So it's uh, definitely another very powerful wall card. And uh, then we also have some more evolved Pokemon. There is Dodrio. Now, like I said, there is a lack of switching cards, but Dodrio gives your Pokemon one less retreat cost. There's Haunter, which has to be, you know, you have to flip every time you attack it. Kind of like Whimsicott GX, it's also got free retreat. Uh, there is Sand Slash which resists lightning by 30. So we do have one card in the cube, which resists lightning, which is very good. We have Light Jolteon, whose pulse guard attack decreases uh, or will prevent damage 30 or more when 30 or more is done to it. So uh, there's a lot of different wall strategies. There's resistances galore in this thing. And taking four prizes is, uh, would you say, way harder than, than oh, yeah. you would think. Yeah, and uh, it's definitely a challenge. Uh, to navigate the game, take all four prizes, and not deck out. There are some cards that help you, you know, recoup your resources. There's nightly garbage runs, basically like a super rod, uh, which can put energy and Pokemon back into the deck. But you really have to think about uh, all the cards that you draft out of the original draft. You have to think about, you know, will I have resources that I need in order to finish the game? There's just so many different kind of moving parts that you have to consider while you're doing the draft and then when you actually get into the game, it really is uh, uh, a very fun experience. So uh, let's see, Will will let you be, you'll be player A. Nice. So Will is gonna take eight cards off the top, I'm just gonna spread them out so we can see. Now I will let you guys know, there is a cube list, I have it posted on my Twitter, uh, but I'll let you guys know the counts as we're going through. Now this is a very significant pack because we have Yes. Both switch cards, okay. Wow. <laughs> there are both switch cards in the pack. There are only two double colorless energy in the 80 card deck. And there is only two gust of wind in the 80 card deck. And the and the whole Dodrio line. And the entire Dodrio line <laughs> is in is in here. Because there are only one one of the evolutions. So this is uh you can see already that dividing these eight cards up is like kind of a galaxy brain. Thing, because yes. Will is going to divide them into two different packs, and then I get to pick. So what's comforting about being player B in this situation, right now I'm player B, uh, what's comforting about being player B is that I know I can get whatever card here I want. Mm -hmm. Any one of card, I guarantee can get, right? If I want this gust of wind, no matter what pack Will puts it in, I will be able to get it. If I want the double color list, no matter what pack Will puts it in, I will be able to get it. So I'm splitting the switch cards because I don't want him to have both of them. And I'm also playing the Gus and the DC because they're the two best cards in the pack. So I want guaranteed to get one of those. Um, the Dodrio line, um, I guess I can split it. I'll put the Dodrio with, uh, I guess, a Switch and the Dodrio with the Warpoint. And then the Comp Search, I think the Gus pack is a little better. So I'm going to put the Comp Search with the DC. And then I'll put the Sand True with uh, the, the other pack. All right, Andrew, there you go. Sick, and I'm going to take the Gust pack. Yeah. Yes, because the Gust is definitely one of the best cards, but I think Will did a really good job of splitting that up. It wasn't like a... Uh, he definitely put himself in a position where no matter what pack I chose, he was going to get some good cards out of there. Mm -hmm. Now we've got the Ditto Prism Star. This is the only modern card in the Pokemon TC, uh, TCG that is in... Uh, the cube, and that's because it's just so good, right? Yes. Ditto Prism Star can evolve into whatever stage one Pokemon you want. Uh, so it's an it's an amazing card for cube drafters. Whatever cube you're building, 
Ditto Prism Star should probably just be a part of it because yeah. it just makes the cube drafting experience so much smoother. Uh, so all of the evolution lines are 1-1, one, one, but there is one Ditto Prism Star. Now, both Electabuzz, this is a very good pack because there's two Electabuzz. There's the Ditto and the Item Finder, so I'm definitely splitting those two up because yep. those are two of the best cards. I also want to give the energy removal to the non-Item Finder pack, I think. But then the rest of these cards are very good. So we've got a bill. We'll probably split the bill and the oak. And then I'll probably give the last to this pack. And this feels pretty balanced to me. We've got the last, which is nice hand disruption. We've got the Electabuzz item finder here and uh, the Ditto Prism Star. So I think we'll just let it lie like that and see what, uh, what Will decides to choose. So last night... I had a last in my deck and Andrew did not, and I last in like all three games, and it was amazing. So this is true. Now there are only two lasts in the cube. Yes. So last is important. It's also the only hand disruption in the in the cube. Last makes it so both you and your opponent show each other the hands, and you shuffle all trainer cards there from your hands into your deck. I'm gonna take this back. Yeah. There are three item finders in the cube, so that's not a huge L for me. Uh, but having the Ditto Prism Star and an energy removal, there are only there are four energy removals. Does feel pretty good there. Right, next pack, the other DCE. The other DCE, one of those Cleffas. Now you were able to use that Cleffa very effectively against me in our draft last night. Yeah. And uh, you were able to use the Cleffa in combination with Last. You would last my trainers away and then just start using Cleffa to draw to the deck. That was a very powerful combination that you uh, that you used. So yeah. So I think no matter what I do, Andrew will take the pack with the DCE since I had both DCs last night and I won. So I'm pretty yes, sure he, that was very good. So yes. I'm pretty sure he doesn't want to, want me to have both again. So honestly, I could seven one the DCE, but I think I'll give Andrew an energy an energy retrieval just because I like him. So that, <laughs> there, there you go. He really thinks it's gonna go like this. Yeah. Or I could I could put the draw cards honestly. Um, I think I'll put the bill. Or let, let's, let me see what I have first. All right, I'll put yeah, I'll put the bill in this pile. All right. Okay. Uh, there you go. Okay. So this is what we got. You know what? Well, I think. Uh, I think I'm cool letting you have both DC. That's fine. Yeah, we're just gonna we're gonna do it, man. We're gonna do it. That's fine. The cluff is <laughs> good. Now I've got the sand slash as well. Uh, you know, I'm I'm fine with this. Mm -hmm. I think uh, we'll we'll go for it. You know, if I get energy removals, it doesn't even matter if you've got both double colorless energy. So our next eight cards. Take a look. We've got Hitmonchan, Good Manners, Bill, Evie, the whole Jolteon line. Okay, pretty good. that is pretty good. So let's see. How do I want to split these up now? Take a look real quick. We do uh, we do look at our packs while we draft. Sometimes if you're playing in a very strict group, they you know they're like no no looking no looking. You got to remember it all. We're not that advanced yet. Okay, so for uh, for the content's sake, we are going to probably be peeking at our packs as we're drafting. Now, yeah, like I said, you know if you're playing in some very competitive circles, they you know they're not going to want you to peek. That's no. that's a that's a no go. Uh, it's a party foul when it comes to drafting. Okay, <laughs> so we can split the. Eevee and the the Hitmonchan. Last night, Will had like multiple Hitmonchans and it was really rough for me uh, because I had primarily a Lightning deck. And I think we can also split these guys, uh, the Bill and the Elm. And then thinking hmm maybe I'll put the, the Eevee and the Jolteon in one pack. I don't think Will will take it. Hmm. Um, maybe we do put putting both Hitmonchan's in the same pack is so you know Will will just take them I think if I do that I think Will will just take both Hitmonchan's but also uh, also maybe he won't maybe I can go like yeah Will will definitely take that pack if I do that he, he loves Hitmonchan Hitmonchan is like uh, is is definitely very strong. So we'll split the Hitmon chance. That seems to make more sense. Yeah. <laughs> and then, yeah, well, I was like, I want to think about it, okay? I want to think about it. And we're going to go here, and then I think I'm just going to split it, like, very even, uh, except that this is better than this. Yeah, we're going to split it very even. So it's, like, just very much like a 50-50 kind of pack. So we'll just go here and see what you have to say about that. Um, 
So Andrew has ditto, so I really don't want to ha- let him have the Jolteon. So I'll just take this back. Okay, it seems fine to me. I really just wanted at least one hit one chance so that I can, uh, you know, hit fighting type weakness, so that's fine. Not going to be playing Jolteon. I do already have a stage one, so I'm not terribly worried about it. Now there is the second gust. So since Will opened the second gust of wind, I actually have the option to just make it so that Will has no gusts Mm -hmm. since he opened it. Which, But there are a lot of other really good cards in this pack. Yes, there are. (laughs) Yes. I'm going to split these cards, first of all. Um, I think no matter what, he'll take the other gust. Because I already have... But you already have an uh, an item finder too, right? I do have one item finder. Okay. So, hmm. It is tough. This is the second gust, so if I grab it, then Will will have no gusting effect. However, there's another energy removal on the table, and there is another item finder on the table. There are only three item finders in the cube. There are also only two nightly garbage runs. There's a lot of very significant resources here in this pack. Yes. Yes. Um, yeah, this is a pretty tough split. Because, like, no matter where this goes, it's a huge swing card. Because, like, if I put it there, he'll take it for sure. But um, he already has two removals. I have one removal. Oh, you have one? I thought you had two. Nope, okay. I have one. Um, oh, this is really tough. Because I, really, I don't think I can put the item finder and the gush in the same pack. <laughs> I don't think you can. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and put that out there. I don't think that you can put these in the same pack. Yes. Yeah. Um, put the haunter over there. I don't think it's very good. Um, garbage run. Oh, yeah, this is really tough. Right, because the garbage run, like each player, really pretty much has to have a garbage run, or else it's gonna be really bad. Um, I think I'll go like that. Jeez, this is tough. Okay. Um, right, because you already have one, and how many energy removals do you have? Uh, zero. Zero, okay. And you already have one item finder, so I think it's extremely important to get one item finder. Um, oh, and I need the energy removals, because you have both DZ, so here we go. Yeah, yeah we'll, uh, we'll take that. I think that makes sense. Um, then I have at least one item finder to speak of too, so that's that's fine. I do need to look out for um, the other nightly garbage run now, though, uh, and I do also need to keep in mind that you have both DCEs, so cards like Ditto are going to be very valuable to you, as and well card as too. cards like Jigglypuff. So we're definitely going to split those. I also know you really like uh, plus power, so I'm going to take that as well. I already have one plus power. So. Yes, yes. So we're going to go here. We're going to go here, we're going to go here, and we'll go experience all and comp search. Um, I think you might just ditch the ditto if I do this, but, um, and you, you would just take this. So maybe experience all is very good. Maybe, uh, nah, I'll ship it. Hmm. Yeah, we'll, we'll go here. I know how bad you want the ditto, so... So, here's the thing. So, the, the Wigglytuff, I don't think I ever had a full bench in any of the three games you played. Right. And even though I had a bunch of Pokemon, I think... That's why I weighted the ditto so much heavier than the Jigglypuff. Yeah, I'm not right. sure how good this card is, and I don't really care if he has it. So Wigglytuff is, is really good if you set it up, but I'm, it is harder to set up. I'm taking the ditto. Yeah, I know you want the ditto, because ditto with the double colorless is very good. So, yes. I wanted to make sure that that pack was weighted, you know... Weighted, you know, so that I could, uh, so that I could get uh, a good take there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's now, my turn. Yes, it is your turn. Now the Chansey is going. I might just have one the Chansey, honestly, because I have both DCE. Oh man! But look how many Scythers. Look the Defender. The I Defender need, is so good. I need the Scythers so bad. <laughs> um, yeah, this is really tough. Chansey. And the Defender, I think, have to be split. And the Dratini is very good, especially with DCEs, too. Yes. All these cards are good for DCEs. Hmm. So. Yeah, this is really tough. Oh, man. We got a question in the chat. How often is you doing a 7-1 actually correct? Uh, quite often. Sometimes. Yeah. I'd say usually, like, 
It'll happen like once a once a draft, mm -hmm. like on average. Yeah. yeah. There are sometimes like where it'll happen like later in the cube, like where there's like a maybe a two of and the second one shows up and like player B really needs it. Mm -hmm. So it's like you'll seven one. And, I think we had know. seven one uh, yesterday. I forget, I forget which card it was though. Um, do I split the scythers? And yes, if you take too many, obviously you have to make sure that you have like a decent card advantage. You can't take too many seven ones. It usually, like I said, it usually happens once a, mm -hmm. like maybe once a draft. Yep. I think I had to split the scythers because I need I need at least one scyther. Right. 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 Um, right. I think honestly I can just do this. Because the chance you're just so busted. Um, Chansey's incredibly good, yes. But you also have the Sand Slash, so... Mm. <laughs> I think I think we'll go there. You'll go here? Yeah. Yeah, no chance. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go ahead and just take that Chansey right off the table for you. Yeah, yeah. that's fine. You okay. had... That's how you won the last game, is when you, you... You know, last night when we played, you stuck the Chansey in the active... And all I had was a powered up Mewtwo, and I was pinging it for ten. Yep. And it was horrible. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> no chance. I think it's fine. No chance. All right. Now it's my turn. Yep. Yeah. All right. So we'll do eight more. There's another energy removal, energy search. The last hit on Chan. And two ooh. energy removals. And the other okay. last. And the other last. Okay. So this is uh, every pack is big. That's what you get with an eighty card. You know, it's like every pack is a uh, is a big deal. Mm -hmm. So. I'm um, going to split the energy removals. That way I'm guaranteed to get one, which seems very good. Now I'm going to take, you know, quick talk, uh, quick stock of my deck and see, you know, what way is it leaning. Uh, I think I do want to split the Hitmonchan and the Mewtwo, which seems good. Um, I think, Will, you already have the first last, right? Mm -hmm. um, so I'll go here and then I'll give Will um, these. I kind of am leaning towards wanting... He's got the ditto and the DCEs though, so I think he'll take the hit, Munchan. I think. So we'll go here. Hmm. I suspect that Will's going to take the hit, Munchan, but I, uh, because yep. yes, he's got the right because he's going to stick with me with the Mewtwo because he knows his ditto can hit the Mewtwo for weakness relatively easily oh. with the uh, the DCEs. The ditto is just so good. For countering that Mewtwo. Now, thankfully, Will opens the other garbage run because now I'm guaranteed to be able to take it. Yep. Which is incredibly important because in a 40 card deck, it is uh, definitely definitely want to look out for decking out. It's very important. Um, I, I really I really want the Mew. I think it's gonna be very good. Cause you have plus power. Well, you have one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's see. Scoop up is pretty good. Scoop up I... is definitely good. It's another switch card. It's another heal card, right? Hmm. Yeah, this is kind of tough. Um, no, I think there's only one challenge. Cleffa. Oh man. I have the other Cleffa. Yeah. So the babies are also really good at buying turns. There are only two babies in the cube. So the Kleffas are huge because you have to flip in order to attack them. And a Pokemon like uh, like Hitmonchan doesn't even want to KO it. They've got no weakness. they got free retreat. They're incredibly strong. Um, I think I'll do that. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Yep, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> I will gladly take that other uh, nightly garbage run. Yeah, that is that is fine with me. Now, this is the last pack. We've got the item finder. I know Will does not have the Jigglypuff or the Ditto, so the Wigglytuff is useless to him. Mm -hmm. So, here is the situation. <laughs> here is the situation where you... 7-1, the item finder. Yes. Um, I'm offering to give Will everything in that pack if he lets me run away with the third item finder. But if Will takes the third item finder, then I'm running away with everything else in that pack to build my deck. 
I don't, I don't, I, yeah, I'll take the, you can have the item finder. All right, cool. <laughs> now I'm going to build my deck. And what's cool about this is that you know exactly what your opponent has access to based on your own card pool, right? Because you know that your opponent has the inverse of what, what you have. Mm -hmm. So uh, I do have quite a few options here. We've got uh, oh, definitely a heavy amount of psychic Pokemon, so I'm feeling confident about that. Um, I also have access to Cleffa. We love that. The Mr. Mime. I'm feeling like we're going to lean into the psychic Pokemon that I have and that I'm probably just not going to play Lightning because I only have the one Electabuzz. So we're probably just going to make a two-type deck. It's probably just going to be Fighting and it's going to be uh, Fighting and Psychic. I think that just seems like a uh, better strategy for me. I played a three-type deck last night. You definitely can do it. Will and I both played three-type decks last night, and it can be successful for sure. But uh, I think that my draft pool that I ended up with this time is definitely more fighting, uh, fighting heavy, more fighting oriented. So I think I'm going to try and uh, or fighting, fighting psychic oriented. So I think I'm going to try and lean into those. Also, I do know that Will has some psychic Pokemon. He does have the Ditto and the Mew, both of which can counter my Mewtwo. So I do have to look out for that uh, for sure. But I don't think it's worth playing uh, another energy type just to accommodate for my one of Electabuzz. So we are going to just keep that off the table. So my main attackers that I have are right here. I could include the Dodrio as an option to evolve out of the Ditto Prism Star, uh, which is good. I mean, that's, that's really good. It's going to give my Pokemon, you know, uh, easier time retreating. So I do, I do like that. We're going to see if we can accommodate for the Dodrio also. Uh, in the deck. The Mr. The Ghastly is really good. The Mr. Mime is really good because those are two psychic type Pokemon that aren't Mewtwo's. You know, Mewtwo is very easily countered by another Mewtwo, Mew, and Ditto. So I think that uh, having the Ghastly, which has no weakness, having the Mr. Mime, which doesn't get one hit out, are both, uh, both very strong. So this is what we're thinking, you know, with the Pokemon. These are at least the Pokemon that I'm leaning towards, you know, right out of the gates. We definitely are going to play our scoop up. There's like a couple of trainers that we just like know we have to play. We're going to play the energy removals. We're going to play all the bills. We're going to play all of my draw cards so that I make sure that I don't get run off the table here. Now, a lot of my draw cards are in the form of uh, oaks. I guess I do have two elms, which is not bad, but the oaks are definitely, uh, you know, hard to play. There's a reason there's only two of them in the cube because they are definitely more difficult to play. You definitely want the switch, and those are all the cards that I more or less like. I would say I like kind of have to play. Okay, yeah. we've got the item finder, the scoop up, the nightly garbage run, the three energy removals. <laughs> yeah, like I said, you could have both DCE. I was going to go for the energy removals uh, to try and do that. Uh, at least one energy retrieval is usually very good. And then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six uh, draw cards, which I, I think is fine. But the Oaks, like I said, are very difficult to play. Mm -hmm. But I do have two item finders and a garbage run, so I'm feeling good about that as well. So we've got 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 here, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 6, 27, 28, 29. It's pretty much perfect where we want to be. Uh, I think uh, I would like potentially uh, one more space for an energy. Um, so that I could go 12 energy. Uh, 12 energy is really a good count. Um, the two sites there are just so good, though. The Sand True, the Sand Slash, very good. Uh, I think I don't want to cut anything from my Pokemon since I'm going to want to have access to those Pokemon um, pretty much you know, from the get-go. Getting benched is very bad. You don't want to get benched out to lose. So I think uh, we'll probably just go with our 11 energy. Uh, we'll go like... Uh, like maybe five psychic and six fighting or no we're gonna go se we're gonna go six psychic and maybe five fighting uh, i think makes way more sense maybe even seven psychic and four fighting since i really only have these two guys that are going to be using those fighting energy so we're gonna go six five or or seven four with the energy count so let me get that box out let me make sure that there's nothing else in here again i'm i'm thinking i'm skimping on the last I know. Lass is so good, but might, like... Might cost you. It, it could cost me. I also don't have the plus power in my deck right now. I think I'm going to focus more just into the natural strength of the energy removals. Um, well, if I last, you ain't going to have him, so... 
Well, you know, you top deck out. Yeah, you top deck, you top deck out of them. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I think. Uh, let's see. I don't have any Pokemon search in my deck right now, though, and no computer search or anything like that. So I got all the comp searches. So that's now. making me nervous. Yeah, you got all the computer searches. Yeah. Um, the Oaks are like really tough to play. I don't necessarily think that I want two Oaks, so I don't think I'm gonna play two Oaks. Uh, I think I would rather play a card like Challenge. I think that that seems better to me than a second oak uh, because you could allow me to get my basic Pokemon out of the deck, which I like. And then, um, so we'll make that swap. And then is there one more card that I want? The Dodrio is like a little bit greedy, I think. I, I think, uh, I mean, how many Switch cards do you have? You have Scoop Up and Switch? Yeah, yeah, the Dodrio is a little bit greedy, so I don't need to play that. And I'm going to play one more card. Uh, the XP All is like pretty nuts. I haven't actually used it yet. But I think that card seems really good, especially since I have three of the energy removals. I mean, I could just be like energy flooded this entire game, uh, which would be very good for us. Also, the last is very good. Uh, the plus power is uh, pretty insane as well. I think we will just take the plus power. I think having that option to fix math in your deck is just, you know, super good. And I'm not going to go for the XP all since I know that uh, you only have one energy removal. So like... You know, for me, the XP all is like that's that's fine. All right, we've got we've got some cards now. We've got some things. All okay. right, I'll, I'll take my two mulligans. Sounds good. One, two, busted. <laughs> all right, we got four prize games. This is game one. All right, okay. best of luck, Will. Good luck. Okay. See, look, it says winner. I'm gonna win. It does say winner on it. <laughs> we've got Ghastly, and we're gonna draw. Okay. Now, I am. What you got for me? Going to bench Scyther. Going to retreat into Scyther. And going to attach an energy to Scyther. I'm mm -hmm. going to pass. Alright, draw for my turn. Going to attach energy to Electabuzz. Bench the other Electabuzz. Um, the bench the Mewtwo. Now, in this format, there is no Marnie, there is no N. There's no way for me to get energy or Pokemon out of your hand. In fact, Will knows that there's no way for me to disrupt his hand. Yep. I did not put the last in my deck. Which is very important. <laughs> yes, which could end up being my critical downfall. Um, I'm definitely going to Elm this turn. I need to figure out what to bench first. Uh, I think I'll bench Mewtwo. And no. then... Uh... Now, Elm is a really interesting balanced card because even though there are no supporters in this old format... It's basically a supporter. Uh, it's basically a support because when you play Elm, you shuffle your hand into your deck and you draw seven cards, and uh, then you cannot play any more trainer cards. Mm -hmm. It is a very powerful draw card, but then obviously, um, you know, not being able to play any more trainers, you can only play Pokemon or Energy that you find out of that. Bench the scythe there. Sure. And the Thunder Shock. Sounds good. Flip a coin of heads. They're paralyzed, and there's ten, so you are paralyzed. Paralyzed. Sad. Very cool. All right. Okay, so we are going to bench the Nokchan, and then I am going to, I think, oh, uh, no, attach energy to Ghastly, bench the Chansey, and we're going to Elm. Mm -hmm. All right, so just want to get into some more cards so we'll bench all these guys now i do know since uh i am paralyzed here there is no you know switching out of this you well know? you can switch oh no uh, yeah no because no, no, we're playing know. professor elm so yeah. we play professor elm cannot play switch out of this now benching pokemon is always a little bit of a risk because they could get gusted up stalled etc etc except i definitely wanted my hitmonchan down it's my only hitmonchan in my deck i wanted that card down so that I could uh, aggress on this Electabuzz potentially next turn. Four, five, six, seven. Cool. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and pass it to you, Will. Nice. We'll draw. Um, let's see. You'd be having 50 HP? Okay. Um, the Ghastly does have 50 HP, no weakness. Very annoying. I'm gonna start off with a Bill. Sure. Draw two cards. Um. And you'll notice the tempo of the draw in this format as well. You don't need to play a draw card every turn. In fact, 
lot of times you're good just taking the top card of your deck, you know, just drawing for turn and uh, and then kind of planning your your match that way. Because a lot of times if you do play a draw card every single turn, you'll end up decking yourself out. Go attach. Eh, let's see. Uh, yep, we're going to attach there. Seems good. And then I think I'm fine. Just chilling. I could elm. Um, yeah, I'm fine. I'll cool. Thunder Punch. Thunder so Punch. Coin of Heads, it does 40. And then if Tails, it does 30 and 10 myself. And it, it do be a tail. All right. So you're at 40 and I'm at 10. I'm at 30. Oh, 40 now because of the Perilous. Yep. Yeah. Cool. All right. So now we're ready to go. Select a Buzz has got 60 hit points left. We're going to go Energy onto our Hitmonchan. And feeling like pretty good here. We're just going to retreat. And Hitmonchan hits 40 damage because of the weakness. Now, the crazy thing about plus power is plus power is after weakness and resistance. So even if I had a plus power in my hand, I would not be able to uh, knock out. not be able to take the knockout. I need double plus power, uh, which we cannot pull off this turn. Actually, it's impossible since I have the plus other one. So. Yes, <laughs> and the way that plus power works, you attach it to the active. So I did show you you have it. Yeah, uh, <laughs> you attach it to the active. Uh, so you can't item finder for it because it gets discarded after the turn. So yeah, yeah. and then and black and white they made it a regular item. So they did, they did. So I think I'm okay here to just conserve resources, go 40 damage, put you to 50. Yep. And we'll, uh, there's not really anything else that I need so long as I got my energy attachment for turn. Don't need to draw more cards. You actually, it's good to keep the draw cards available to you in your uh, in your deck because if Will were to last me, I'm going to want to, you know, recuperate those draw cards. I'm going to want to get those uh, draw cards as quickly as I can back from the top of the deck. I'll bench my Hitmonchan. Um, let's see. I think I'm just gonna gust the scyther. Okay. And then so that is your only gust. I do know that. And you have one item finder. So yep. you have one potential gust left in the game. But Will is making an aggressive play here with his electabuzz before it goes down. He knows that this you know energy that he's already got um, you know committed. So he wants to make the most out of that energy before it ends up going down. I don't know. Yep. Yeah, I attach to the me too. So, Seems good. Yeah. And yep, yeah, I'm I'm chilling. That's fine. So Seems I'm, good. So what are you what are you uh, hoping to find off this album here? A uh, Mew, or and a fighting energy, basically. Yep. Yeah. So well, Seems good. All I need. Or that. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> nice. Um. Uh. Yep. Yeah, we're fine. And I'll Thunder Punch for Knockout. And it is 40, so... No Sounds damage. good. Yep. All right. Now, the Ghastly does have free retreat, so we're going to promote the Ghastly. And then I do have Hitmonchan already queued up, able to take that Knockout on your... Uh, on your Electabuzz. So yep. definitely excited about that. A draw for turn. And we do have an energy to attach as well. Uh, I do know that you have Mew in your deck, so loading up the Hitmonchan with like three energy is probably going to be a little bit sketchy for me. So I think that I will just start loading up my own Mewtwo here in the background as we uh, as we kind of you know make our way in this game. So I'm going to retreat, and I've already got the advantage here as far as I feel like the board state goes. So there's not really anything that I need to play. I feel like. Uh, I know Will does have a three type deck, so I will bounce this energy to the discard pile. You know, maybe he can't, you know, very easily energy absorption there. Um, so we'll we'll do that. I do have three, and uh, then we're fine just using my uh, what is it? Uh, <laughs> what is the name of this? I forget, I forget what it's called. Yeah. Jab, it's yeah. Jab, yeah, it's Jab, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have a German. Uh, German Hitmon Chan. It's Jab. I have it in my overlay. I have a German Hitmon Chan in front of me, so. The German uh, is Boxschlag. I'll use Boxschlag for knockout. Draw. That was a pretty busted draw, if I do say so. Um, I think what we're going to do here is just uh, cards in hand. Cards in hand, I have six. All right, we're going to go energy here. Removal. Yeah. 
And then we're going to go Fender. Sure. Bench. No, not Bench. Ditto. Um, Bill. Two. Yep. Bench Cleffa. For sure. And then I will last. Sure. So now all these trainer cards are getting shuffled back into my deck. I did save some of my draw cards because I didn't want to waste them. I was kind of prepping for Will's eventual last and hoping that I would top deck into one of my draw cards shortly after he played it. That was that was my hope. I didn't want to play my draw cards, especially since I still had energies to attach and things like that. And then I will retreat yep. to the, Ch the Hitmonchan. And I will jab for, for 20. Sounds good. All right. We'll draw. Now, Will has made a play where he's got his defender on, so he's going to be able to skip ahead in some attachments, um, unfortunately, because, or in some attachments, in some, you know, and, and as far as his board and his damage is concerned as well, because he has uh, got that defender. That defender is going to prevent my jab completely, so I will not be able to do anything with it. Now, I think that don't necessarily want to commit the energy in my hand, um, but could be could be okay. We'll we'll go here. You did just last, so I know you probably don't have energy removal. So I think it is correct, and then I'll uh, I'll jab for zero because of your defender. The defender gets removed. Yep. Drop turn. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Um, I'm just gonna jab. Sounds good. Off the top. Oh boy. <clears throat> that is fine. It looks like we are also going to jab. Very cool. Now we'll get to play some damage on you. Yes. <laughs> draw. That's a pretty good draw. Uh, hmm. The 70 HP, huh? Are you thinking about using a plus power? Yeah. Take the KO? Do that. You energy absorption. And then... Yeah, it's fine. We'll go here. The ditto, yes. And here. Seems good. Plus power. Not yeah, good. all right, so that plus power, fixing the math, <clears throat> allowing Will to take the KO. Now, I certainly have some things to consider here. I do think that Lick is probably going to just be my best bet. Uh, the Ghastly has no weakness. It resists fighting by 30. Really good. So we're gonna go lick for twenty, no paralysis, but we're still inching closer to where we need to be. I play war point. Sure, this is gonna be tough. War point uh, is going to push. It's basically escape rope. It is escape rope. Yeah, not basically. It just is. So now Will's going to be able to probably put his Kleppa into the active. I guess I will go. Ooh, if he's got the DC in hand, he's just going to knock out my Mewtwo. So, yeah, we're definitely going to just go here. Yeah, the DC in hand, didn't you, Will? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And oh. you for sure would have taken it. Yeah. Um, I think I'm just cool eking, to be honest. Yeah. So Eek out of the last is so good. That's what you did last time. I'm it gonna, was very successful. I'm going to eek. Sure. All right, I'm going to draw for turn. Okay, I do have a bill, so we're finally getting cooking here. And then, let's see, what are we going to do? I think it's a tough call for me. I do have an energy to attach. I don't want to give Will... Oh, yeah, really tough. Okay, we're going to go energy drop here, and I could retreat. That doesn't really make any sense. Um, I think I'm just going to pass. Makes sense. Yes. Yes, I think just trying to get it back ahead as far as the energy drops go uh, seems like the best play for me here to just sit and try to buy it a little bit more time. The Chansey is huge, so we do have yeah quite a few turns to buy. 
while we draw out of this last. Um, I'm gonna. Ah, he's going for the gust. I don't find her. This card. I assume. And, uh, this card. Can you go down to one prize remaining if you do that? I think this card, probably. That's insane. This card or that one of the energies in my hand, I can't. Because if I, okay, I have all three, I have one more fighting left. Okay, so then this card. I'll sure. just discard the Hitmonchan. Sure. I get the gust and gust the Mewtwo. Mewtwo, sure. And here and comes the ditto. Retreat into the ditto. Yep. And then attach DCE. Oh boy. And I will use Cyburn. Yes. So the ditto, for those of you guys that don't know, the ditto becomes uh, an exact copy of the Pokemon it is facing, and it can use any and everything's a rainbow that's attached to it. Yes. Which is insane. So this this, this becomes a double rainbow. <laughs> exactly. With, with absolutely exactly. zero drawbacks. Which is crazy for sure. Okay. So, so now it's a ghastly with flick and energy conversion. Right. Okay, so we're going to want to. I need, oof, I need draw cards. That's for sure. Okay. In a grindy situation, mm -hmm. I would say. Yeah. <laughs> grindy situation. Have I used an item finder yet? I have not. I have another item finder then. So we'll go. And. Gust of Wind here. Okay. Plus power and lick for knockout. Interesting. Did not expect that at all. Yeah, so I think it uh well, it gives me a prize at least. And the Hitmonchan can, you know, mess with my chancy, so. That's true. I think I'm gonna attach. Now I know you've used your gust and I know you've used your item finder, so there's no more gust for you. Yep. Yep. That's Which fine. Is important for me. Attach the Electro Buzz. Sure. Treat. And Thunder Shock. Okay. So you're paralyzed. Yeah, it's paralyzed, 10 damage. Okay. So he needs a switch card, or else I put five foot pets on this under, and the next one I, you can use the other attack to do 40. Well, yeah, kinda. Yeah, I guess so, huh? Um, so let's see. Certainly put some pressure on. Let's go. Yikes. I mean, when you say it like that, man. <laughs> <laughs> when you say it like that, that is pretty tough, huh? Okay. I. Ah, you ain't got double heads. Back to back heads? No chance. No chance. All right, we're going to. Maybe. Um. Yikes, man. All right, we're going to... No chance. Well, there's definitely a chance, and it's 2%, so... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I suppose, you know, I suppose that's true. <laughs> now, I have an item finder. The problem is, if I item finder for the elm, then I can't play a trainer card. Yes. I could also item finder for an energy removal, then I'm kind of prolonging the inevitable. Yeah. And bounce the energy off of the... Uh, I'm, I'm almost fine with that, though. That at least, like, guarantees gives me another turn. Uh, we can go... Yikes, it all feels so bad. I, Mewtwo's are not safe right now. All right, we're going to go... Oof. Yeah, we're going to go item finder away these guys. Uh, these guys keep the ditto. Yeah, yeah. And we're going to get the energy removal bounce it off the active. Mm -hmm. That guarantees buys me one return. I know you have no gust, and we're going to pass. I'll draw. Okay. Very cool top deck. Yes, um, I'm sure it is. <laughs> this is uh, not good. I'll just do Thunder Shock. Sure. Tails. Rip. Draw. Ah, very good top deck for me. There we go. Nightly Garbage Run. We are going to Nightly Garbage Run, and we are going to put in the Hitmonchan, a Fighting Energy, and the Mime. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
And then shuffle those in, and we got oak. Oh, that is the one we needed. Yes, that actually starting to look pretty, pretty harrowing there. If I did not top deck the oak, literally it needed to be the oak, not an elm. Thanks so much, Daver, for that uh, tier one sub. Yeah, top deck the oak. We're going to see seven new cards, chat. And I know Will is out of gust. One prize left. He's going to have to deal with whatever I put active. Mm -hmm. He does not have uh, war point either. He's used that. I got seven cards. Okay. Now, I will play challenge. <laughs> Do you accept the challenge? Yes allows me to go get whatever basics I want out of my deck onto my bench. No lets me draw two cards. This is this card is like one of the most funny cards. Yeah. Let's go. You're you're going to do it? All right. Yeah. So the way challenge works is I say, "Do you accept the challenge?" He says, "Yes." We get to look, they go face down. Oh, yeah, they go face down. <laughs> they go face down. So we take the cards out of the deck and we put them face down. Right? And then we reveal them at the same time. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Okay, we want this card, we want this card, and we want this card. It's fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Cool. I have not attached return yet. Okay. You've got Mew, I've got Mime, Scyther, and Hitmonchan. Yep. Okay. To the discard pile. And now I am going to, huh. Okay, this is tough, isn't it? I'm going to energy removal the lightning. And then going to attach an energy to my Hitmonchan retreats. I think. I think you have no switches left in your deck either. No. So I think I'm safe for a turn. Um, but I do have to worry about that ditto eventually coming up. All right, so we're going to go 40. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you so much, Nuclear King, for that sub as well. So you see, we're in a, like, it seemed like the game was, like, wrapping up. But now we still have no idea who's going to win. One prize left to two. Yeah, this is pretty tough. This is a really tough spot for both of us. I'm, like, thinking about Will's resources he has left. He only has a couple cards left in deck. I know he can put, he can Nightly Garbage Run. Mm-hmm. He can put more cards back into the deck. So I, I think I'm not going to touch the active. Seems bad. That seems like a waste. Um, <clears throat> I could... How many cards in hand? I have four. Four. I could waste a DCE retreat and a special punch with a ditto. Right. And then he could retreat. Because if he doesn't, I win. Um, right. But he could rule the DC, and then I can't win. Um, I can retreat. Nope. Uh, I think I just have to pass. But no, I, I'm gonna attach first. But okay, I'm gonna attach somewhere. Probably here. Okay. Um. Maybe no. I think I'm gonna attach. And this is why the lack of you know the switches are so meaningful. In the cube. That's <clears throat> why it's so important to think about like when you play them, when you have access to them. You're gonna go on to the scyther. <coughs> um I'll pass. Okay. A draw? Okay. Alright. 
that was a very good top deck for me because we have energy removal here. Mm -hmm. um, now I know you still have an energy. I know, well, you said, but you still have a DC. DC. Let's go energy retrieval here. Get two psychics back from the discard pile. Let's attach an energy to it's really tough. Attach an energy to Hitmonchan, I think. No. Attach an energy to Yikes. Chansey? We'll attach the Psychic to Chansey. And then I'm going to Elm. And go seven more cards into our deck. Now, I am going to be very close to decking out myself here. Mm -hmm. But you have Chansey. One, so. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, okay. Yeah, if you have a few turns. Got a few turns. So we're going to go seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But I know that I have like a switch and an item finder left. So like I'm not terribly worried about that. And then we're going to jab for knockout here. Draw. All right. Now what are you thinking? You've got the site there. You powered it up. You're like, okay, I know his attacker, Simon Chan, probably going to try and slash, and then obviously with the resistance, mm -hmm. you know. That's what I have to do. Mill the option. Yep. Go there. And then um, I'll do 30. Okay. I'm going to draw. I am approaching the end of my deck as well, so I have to be very careful. I'm going to attach here. Switch. Pass to you. Well, my only chance is to retreat into Cleffa and flip a bunch of heads. <laughs> I think so. Right, because now I am loading up Chansey. You know, at this point, I'm just jockeying around. I I'm loading up Chansey, and I'm just going to, like, try to blow up whatever I, I can. can. I'm going to bench Lickitung and attach to Lickitung. And then I will energy retrieval. Sure. Discarding good manners. Or psychic fighting. Yeah. And then I'm going to nightly garbage run. Sure. Or Hitmonchan fighting. And lightning, I guess. Yep. Oh, he has a plus power still in his discard. I do. So I don't find her after he does one in the game. Um, so I have I can't do that. I have to retreat into the left and pray. No, I could, I could go into Ditto actually because it's not a knockout. I mean, it's eighty, right? Yeah, it does eighty. Yeah, and eighty yourself. Yeah. Then the Ditto is like relatively safe. Uh, is it? Yeah, I think it is. Um, I can't. I mean, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He can't attack, so it's yeah. like, you know, and he, you know, you have the same ability, so. Then, you have to, uh, no DC left, so yeah. Go into there. Yep. And, Swords Dance? Swords Dance! Let's go. All right. We do have the energy, and we have Item Finder for Gust. So, yep. and just Item Finder, bring up Mewtwo, and then we will use Double Edge for 80 damage. Yep. And take our final prize. Game wow. one. So that was crazy. You had me on the ropes with the last. Mm -hmm. I was thinking that it was, I mean, literally, if I don't top deck that oak that turn. Now, granted, I was dead drawing for a while before the oak. I could have drawn that oak at any time until it was the last turn. Yeah. But it was very exciting that I got it on, like, eh, this was the turn. Like, mm -hmm. it had to happen here. Or else everything was going downhill, chat. So we got it. Game one. All right, best of luck, Will. Good luck.
Ghastly start is insane. He's got free retreat. Love it. Uh, Strap of the bill. The Scyther start is also like pretty good. It's ideal, actually. Um, I'm going to go ahead and attach a fighting yep. to Scyther. And. Uh, yeah, well, um, Thank goodness this man's not getting another turn one less. I could have. You could have. <laughs> but yes. I really didn't want to. Yes, yes, yes. Well, because then you're leaving yourself with no trainers as well. Mm -hmm. And leaving game two after you lost game one to whoever top decks out of it first. Not fun. Suboptimal. <laughs> yeah. Last with the uh last with the uh with the baby in play is like that play That's is so nuts. Yeah. I mean if I was to play Cleffa, that'd be insane. Right? Yeah, for sure. I got a question in the chat. Why is Scyther so good? Man. Because it's got free retreat. And attacks for three cost energy and does thirty damage and resist fighting and resist fighting. So sick. Yeah. Yes. Fighting resistance. That means the most aggressive Pokemon in the format, Hitmonchan, does nothing to it. Uh, free retreat. You can pivot to whatever Pokemon you want good. next turn, and it takes colorless energy to attack, which is so good because uh, you know Will's deck might be three types. I mean, some of the decks are multiple types for sure. We're gonna build, kick things off. Okay. And uh, yeah, it looks like we've got an exhilarating start here, <laughs> folks, for sure. So I'm going to be going uh, Psychic Energy onto my Ghastly. Mm -hmm. um, and then I've got Hitmonchan I'm going to put down. And we're going to go for the turn one lick. That's a heads. Paralysis, 10 damage. Yep. Let's go, Ghastly. Let's go. Insane. Uh... Bench me too. Yep. Go. Uh, Ghastly's like really cool in its own right. I mean, having the fighting resistance, uh, obviously very good against Hitmonchan as well. Hitmonchan is just so aggressive, being able to uh, deal double damage to colorless and um, to electric type Pokemon. It's like the best aggro card in the cube. Do it. Uh, Ghastly, having that. Uh, being a psychic Pokemon, but not having a Weak. psychic resistant or psychic weakness yeah. is huge, right? So it can poke psychic uh, type Pokemon, um, and then also having the free retreat as well is very good for this card. So I think I am going to just mm, a tough situation. I really don't like benching. My Mewtwo against Will. I know Will just has been known to just go off the cuff with a gust early and just <laughs> <laughs> and just like make some plays. So I think that uh, I do like, especially if I bench my own Ditto. I'm thinking about benching my own Ditto, but that's just a jab away from a knockout, right? A gust jab, which is also very tough. Um, I think I would rather bench it later. So let's go Psychic Energy onto. No, I'll do Psychic Energy under my Mewtwo. That seems fine and relatively safe. And then we're going to Lick. We got yeah, another Heads. Nice. So 20 damage, Paralysis again. Hmm. And we are starting things off uh, with a bang here. And as you can see, you know, we've only just played the one bill. You know, we're tempoing into the game. Bench Lickitung. This is why this format that we've created here does feel a little bit like Magic the Gathering. If you're familiar with Magic the Gathering, the tempo feels similar because you're just, you know, kind of methodically taking cards off the top of the deck, but you do have these bigger turns where you play uh, your bigger draw cards and things like that, Boom. which are very good. Um, which is different than Magic. There's not, you know, not a lot of cards that say discard, no cards that say discard draw seven in Magic. No. Nope. No cards that say shuffle draw seven in Magic. Well, there are, but they're pretty bad. They're so. pretty bad. Right, right, right. Because <laughs> um, they'd be like six mana. So, yeah. Uh... Yeah, no free free to cast uh, <laughs> shuffle draw seven cards. Nope. Not a single one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. We'll go here. Seems good. And here. Really? He's benching out. You about to help? Yeah, uh, probably. Yeah. And here, and Elm. Elm for seven? Yep. That's good. Usually, uh, in this format, you'll see that you will hold basics in your hand because you know they can't be disrupted until you're about to play something like an Elm or a Research. Then you'll, like, bench out because you don't want to draw those cards back. Will's looking for seven good cards. Yes. Uh, he doesn't want to see these Pokemon back in his hands that he already had. Mm. 
seven brand new cards. Now I do know off of the Elm, you can't, you know, your war point not going to be playable or anything like that because Elm makes it so that you cannot play any trainer cards after you draw your seven cards. Uh, go ahead. Which makes it just like a very balanced card as well because you can't use it to dig for, you know, game-winning combo pieces. You know, you can't Elm Gust in the same turn, mm -hmm. uh, which is uh, really nice, really balanced for sure. So, um, uh, you know, ah, uh, okay, no, that's not a, yeah, we, we vibe in here. <laughs> we, we definitely chilling. Mm -hmm. Uh, all right. Uh, now you've got a huge hand, so now I definitely don't want to just like play my ditto down for you. Like that seems, that seems suboptimal. And, uh, I think I like going, you know, you like to hit your energy every turn, but then also like at what cost you know you don't want to just lay them down and then you don't have options so i think i'm just going to keep it calm and lick we'll just go there heads yep some nice paralyzed hack there with the ghastly we're loving it good stuff good stuff ghastly leading the charge will's not gonna like that 10 damage a pop no. adds up chat it's not fun it adds up ghastly absolutely go to card um go there yep and uh, your turn. All right, draw. Okay, this is a fine card to have for sure. I like the sight there down because if you do warp point, then I have a nice pivot, so that feels good. So now I'm just worried about the gust or thinking about the gust. Now, Will could just decide to have at my Mewtwo. Uh, I don't love that, but uh, that's that's fine. I think that's. We'll just keep it calm here. I don't really want to waste that second energy because I'm low on energy right now. So we're just going to keep it calm and lick. Yeah. <sighs> Four, Four in a row. Yeah, the Ghastly is going the distance, dude. The Ghastly is going, it's going for a home run. It's going for the 7 0. Four in a row. I know. Yeah, the Ghastly at this point, Ghastly has got a way to die. <laughs> yes. Energy on the site there feels so bad. <laughs> that's that's got to feel horrible. Uh, All right. Um, do it. All right. Draw. I'm still just energy famished over here. I am energy dry. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. So that's that's fine now. You've got, like, I feel like you have a hand advantage on me, but you're not playing any draw cards or anything like that. Nope. Um, I certainly have ways out of this, but I just don't want to waste any of them at this point. I feel like I will go and oof, put the energy onto the Mewtwo. You know what? Game two. We're, we're doing it. We're living. Mm -hmm. Okay. Energy on the Mewtwo. We're going to go lick. Dang, bro. <laughs> Five, bro. Five, bro. Five. That was a different die. That it was, was different. It, it was different. Yeah, I switched it up just so you guys knew. Yep. Uh, this ghastly is just going the distance. This is rough for sure. Yeah. <laughs> I'd say so. Um, Let's go, ghastly. Yo, take that scyther down. Go ahead. Yeah. All right. Sick. Draw. Yo, turn up. Let's go. Okay. That's a good card to have. All right, ghastly. Just you know. Uno mas. Uno mas, my man. Uno mas. All right, we're going to... No, I don't want to bench that yet. All right, here we go, Ghastly. That's a Tails. Finally. All right, man. yep. <laughs> you done good, Ghastly. You done good, bud. It's fine. Bill. Yep. Uh, comp search? Yeah. Yeah, so Will's going to be ready to make some plays. I imagine. We did not prize the man. And the gust? Ah. It is there. Will at the end of last game. I think I need to save my gust for the right time. Also, Will. Let's go ahead. I think this is the right time. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go ahead and slam her down. Will says, this is the right time, he says. Yep. That's fine. And we're bringing up the V2. It's cool. Yo, I still got gas leap, bro. Yeah, All right. fine. So Will is going to aggro on my Mewtwo with his Mewtwo, go for the big plays, and is going to take his first prize of the game. But I know you only have one item finder, 
Cyber. And now you are down your gust. Cool. Scyther up. Draw for turn. So, I do have to worry about... Plus power. If you don't I fails. have to worry about a couple of things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a couple of things worth worrying about at this point. <laughs> okay. And I played one bill so far? Yep. Cool, man. Let's go... Um, I potentially should have been attaching that Scyther. Oh, it's fine. Let's go... Do I want to do that yet? No. Well... Yeah, I'll bench the ditto. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to go energy drop onto the Scyther, retreat, and go for the lick again. Yeah, lick, paralysis, 20. Cool. That's pretty bad. Seems good. Well done, Ghastly. Well done. Um, let's go ditto. Sure. Energy. Yep. Pass. Sounds good. Draw. Okay. Okay. It's fine. Going to go energy onto the Scyther. And lick one more time, Ghastly. That is the heads. Jeez. Yo. The killer Ghastly butt. <laughs> You did not put enough respect on this ghastly, my man. Nope, I did not, clearly. Yeah. What was that? Six out of seven? Six out of seven, man. <laughs> Yo, that ghastly's a monster. <laughs> Whatever, man, it's fine. Absolute monster. Um, go ahead. Okay. Draw. There we go. Finally getting into some cards here. Well, you know, kind of. <laughs> Not really, but it's is cool. Mm -hmm. Um Okay. Dang bro, we're really about to You don't have the scoop up, so I know all this damage is sticking, so that's fine. Yep, we're just going to lick. Tails. Alright. Finally. <laughs> Ten hit points left. It's fine, Ghastly. Listen, bud. You've done well. Alright, Ghastly. I still can't knock it out though. It's super annoying. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way to snipe in this format, so... Nope. Um... Yeah. Not a fan. Uh, I'll just... You gonna let this Ghastly take a take a, a gnarly dub on that Mewtwo? <laughs> 40. 40, all right, yeah. I'm gonna have to swing into it. There we go, draw. Okay. That's fine. Um, okay. I'm gonna retreat. Going to. Jab for knockout. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Oh, jeez. <laughs> now, I still have only played the bill. <laughs> That's the only trainer card. That is the only trainer card I play. We've gotten to this point in the game having played one trainer card. And just if you compare it to, like, you know, Will, Will's played more, for sure. He's actually only got... You know, a handful of cards left in his deck. It's fine. Yes. Cards in hand? Uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's a lot of cards. That is a lot of cards. Um. So what decision are you trying to weigh here, Will? Uh, I think we're going to go with the Ditto. Okay. Treat. Yes. And a special punch. All right. Now, there does come a point in the game where your hand can get too big, and I need to worry about last. 
Now, I've been telling Will that I am energy dry this entire time, which means that either my hand is filled with Pokemon or trainers, and it's it's both, you know? So, like, uh, a lot of trainers. At this point, I'm very concerned that, uh, that Will will last me into oblivion, so we don't want that. So I think I am going to need to start to actually stop being conservative for a second and actually do some things, which uh, is exhilarating. Let's go. So, Ditto is a carbon copy of whatever Pokemon it is up against, which is uh, which is interesting. Now, the site there, well, not the not the damage, but everything else. Yeah, so it's a carbon <laughs> copy of the, yeah, not the damage, but a, a carbon copy of the card it's yeah. up against. So let's go. I finally have an Elm. So we want to do some. We want to do some damage here. You swung for forty. We're gonna go and. go in, I think, with our Scyther. So we're going to attach energy to the Scyther, which seems fine. We're going to go energy removal to Ditto. I guess that's okay. Energy removal to Ditto. And then I can item finder, energy removal to Ditto again. Um, and then I don't actually think that I want to break the I think I'll probably just jab it because that way you can't retreat the ditto very easily because I'll have Hitmonchan in the active. So then I'm just going to Elm. That's fine. Will takes this prize. I'm not totally sweating. What are the prizes at? The prizes right now are three to three. Yeah, three to three. Sorry, it's a little difficult to see. I'll eventually get an overlay set up where I can uh, keep track of prize counts. Mm -hmm. It's three to three prizes. We are very. Very close right now. Um, I can make Will waste his plus power. Your plus power is still uh, yep, at still, large, right? Still available. Yeah, cool. All right, I get seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Cool. We are going to evolve that. So we have the Sand Slash. Cool. <laughs> Very cool. And I can't play any trainer cards, so we're just going to go jab for 20. Um, now, I've been saving those energy removals for a long time. I was sitting on those almost the entire game. Yeah. So I think that uh, we were waiting for the right time to play them. This felt like the right time to play them. Limit Will's options. I didn't want... I wanted to get one more turn under my belt with this Hitmonchan in the active or force Will to like burn some resources because I have plenty of resources right now. Don't know what to do. It's pretty tough. Um... No DC, unfortunately, because I'm not lucky. So, uh... Right, or force him into playing his DCE. Yeah, DCE would have been really sick. Right. But I'm not that good at the game, so, you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, this is really bad, actually. Uh, gee, bro. Got Defender. Do I Defender there? Uh, you can't knock me out anyway. Yeah, we'll defend her. Sure. Um, and I think I'm just going to jab. All right, put me to 60. Draw for turn. Okay. I will use Bill. And then... Let's see. I can do... Okay. I'm gonna go energy onto the sand slash. And then tough. Tough, tough. Yes, very, very tough. Yes. Um yes, we're going to scoop up. Oh, the energy gets this good. Yes, it does. Thank you. And we go here. And retreats. That would have been sick if you put thirty on him. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> and I just didn't I didn't have it. Yeah, but like to KO you by retreating into the clef would have been hilarious. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And we'll pass. Yep. Now I'm a Kleppa. Yes, you are. That means I can retreat for free. Which is this very, is true. Which is very cool. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um Energy Sure. 
That is the one I have to worry about. Promote the Electabuzz. Sure. Huh. Definitely tight. And now that still have my Gus left, that's good. Will's used his. He's just used his one energy removal. And now he has one item finder left. I know that. Thunder Punch? Yes. Or I'll attempt a Thunder Punch. Sure. Tails. All right. Nothing. The baby flips. That needs to not be a Tails. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Very sad. Okay. Yeah, that would have been very good as a heads for you, for sure. Now, let's see where we're at here. We've got, got some plays. I think I'm going to go Energy Drop onto my Sand Slash. And... This seems fine. We're going to poke for 30. Yep. Yep. Yeah, that really needed to be that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the prize take there would have been nuts for sure. Yes, but the Kleppa's got, if you're wondering why there was a flip there, the Kleppa's got a baby rule. If you're not familiar with the baby rule, the baby rule, you have to flip whenever you try to attack it. The babies, there are only two of them in the 80 card cube. Will yep. and I each have one. Yes, they are good for exactly what I just did. <laughs> just buying a turn. Ah, uh, jeez. Let's see. Uh, the thunder. Because sometimes you want to go for the paralysis because you're trying to look for another turn. Well, if I flip tails, I'm, I'm, I'm getting knocked out. So. Yeah, you're toast, yeah. Uh, I think I have a thunder shock. Okay. Tails, so sad. I know, I took all your tails. I took all your heads, Will. Yeah, you did. You flipped yeah. so many heads. <laughs> I did flip an amount of heads, yes. All right, so here's the play. Here's the play I've been wanting to make. Let's see. Um, yeah, so we're going to energy removal the Scyther. Okay. Energy onto Sand Slash. And now we Slash for Knockout. Mm -hmm. 40 damage. Take our prize. It's pretty good. Oh yeah, let's go Sand Slash. Get in there, bud. This is the first time I've ever attacked a Sand Slash in the cube, so I'm very excited. <laughs> sand Slash is definitely a dude. He's got Slash for 20, Resist Lightning by 30, Fury Swipes, get in there as well. Do you see? Now, I wanted to energy removal that site there because then you could have bought me for 60 potentially, which would have been rough. Promote. Ditto. Sure. And Fury Swipes. So put three coins and then just 20 for each head. Sure. All tails. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Literally three tails. Oh, yikes, Will. That's yeah. pretty sick. It's yeah, like, sick. Throw back to the Sneasel flips. For six, head, <laughs> six, six coins and absolutely zero heads. Yeah, you hate to, uh, hate to see that, Will. Chat, yeah. press F for Will. Yeah, uh, that Will. Well, you need to work on your flips. The same die, so you can't even say they're loaded. I know. <laughs> You're just the luckiest man alive, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. insane. Yeah. Will says that a little little uh, ray of sunshine follows me around wherever I go. Yeah. I'm the luckiest man alive, according to, according to Will Mantho. Yep. Yeah. Um, okay. So now we are going to... don't have an energy to drop, unfortunately. Let's put... Your Pokemon remaining. Okay. Someone did streamer luck. Yep. Streamer luck. Yep. All right, we're going to Nightly Garbage Run. We're going to put back in two Fighting Energy. I think just three Fighting Energy. Well, two Fighting Energy in the... I am not going to need that chancy. Three Fighting Energy back into the deck. Mm -hmm. that, is, that is what we're going for. So we're just going to do that. That way I have a higher odds of drawing into some Fighting Energy here um, off the top of the deck, which I definitely want. So we're going to do that, and then got no energy right now. I don't even care to play any. Uh, that's fine. Um, and then see if I go with Fury Swipes right now. You've got 50 HP remaining. 
Yo, how how good do you think I am at this game though? Three, you plus over two heads? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Plus power. How good? How I good? Do this all time, bro. How good? How good am I at this game? I'm uh, gonna go plus power. You're pretty good. Oh, I can't fury swipes. Take it back. Take it back. Take it back. Oh yeah, you, right. yeah, you need to fight. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Yes, you need slash. To. We're just gonna slash. <laughs> you do need two of them fighting energy. <laughs> we need two. We need two fighting energy. All right, we're gonna slash for twenty. Yep, it seems fine. Well, I was holding last and I learned the whole game, but I can never find a turn to use them. So, so now we're here. Yes. <laughs> you needed to use it that turn that I said that I wished you wouldn't have used it. Yeah. That was the turn. Because I thought you were baiting me for sure, so... No. The turn like where I was like, thank God he didn't last. If you would last me that turn, you might have been able to turn this ship around. Mm -hmm. My hand was gigantic, and there were like three non-trainer cards in it. There was one single energy, and then two Pokemon. Nice. And the rest, it was like eight trainers. That's pretty sick. And then that was the turn I double energy removal you and Elmed, right? So, um, just all bad, just not good. Feels uh, bad, man. Yep. It's horrible. Uh, Cleffa. You have three prizes remaining. The Ghastly has ten hit points left. <laughs> That's so bad. <laughs> uh, yeah. I think my only chance to win is I flip all three heads in a plus power. Two. Let's. You just flip three tails. I mean, it's even odds, bro. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> um, I'll do this. Yeah. And then I'll last. Okay. Actually, no. Before I last, I'm going to garbage around. run. Okay. Um, and get back. Um, I guess. Psychic. Um, uh, actually, we're going to get back to lightning. Okay. So back in the deck. And then, have I attached this turn? No, I have not. You have uh, not. Let's go DC there. Okay. And then I'll last. Sounds good. Yeah. Yep. So I have to put these back into the deck. I'm left with just Hitmonchan and Sandshrew. That's one of the reasons I wanted to play my nightly garbage run, just so that I would have access to it. So, that feels good. Last, putting both of our trainers back into our deck. Pretty busted card. For sure, for sure. All right, and then... Three heads. You got it? Let's go, boys. Three heads. Oh, so Ooh, close! No. <laughs> uh, the two heads. 50 damage. If I would have gotten one heads before, that would have been sick. I know, I know. So rough, so rough. <laughs> Never lucky. Never lucky indeed. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go for the gnarly play here. What you got? We're going to attach the Sand Slash and retreat into Cleffa. And which, then take, not take the knockout. Which then knocks out your ditto. <laughs> and then you... Um, actually, one thing I need to guarantee can't can't get knocked out is the Hitmonchan, so I'll okay. pass the Hitmonchan. And then I'm going to pass to you. Now, the way that that interaction works, the Ditto automatically transforms into what it is facing, for better or for worse. So, the Ditto turned into the 30 HP Cleffa and got knocked out. Jab. Jab. Tails. All right, Will, and I pulled a gust of wind off my prizes. Bring up the Scyther. Actually, that's the worst one to put up. What? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm slashing, I, bro. I thought you were going to do that. Nah, <laughs> we're a lick. Ten? Right. Yeah, yeah, you lick for sure. That's it. All right. All right, GG's. Wow, wow Will. The 2-0 -oh sweep. I know. We got the nice redemption there. Yeah. Uh, I told you I told you, you win tomorrow on the screen. Yeah, you did tell me that. Will won last night when we tested it. And he's like, "Don't worry, man. You're gonna you're gonna win on stream." So you did. Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, thank you guys all so much for watching the uh, the cube draft. Hopefully, you learned something. Hopefully, uh, hopefully you uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the the content. So uh, it's something that I really like doing. Big thanks again to Will for uh, helping us to produce this uh, this show. Yeah, I'm so busted. And that's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like the video, sub to the channel, ring that bell, and of course, check out the Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash trickygym, where I stream live Pokemon trading card game content every single weekday. And if you've got extra cards lying around the house and you're trying to get some cash for them or store credit or a new booster box, make sure to check out the Fulgrip Games buy list. We are always buying bulk and singles at the shop and selling your cards to Fulgrip Games directly supports the content that I create here on Tricky Gym. Y'all take it easy and have a busted day. Peace.